Welcome to Expanding Possibilities Utilizing IS Boxer, the first in my how-to series on IS Boxer. My name is Xanthor and I'm often asked how I play five characters at once. The purpose of these videos is to uncover this mystery. First you need the right tools. Good input devices, a computer or computers which can run multiple copies of WoW, and a good workstation to play at. Luckily most of us already have all this. All that remains is bringing this all together. For this series I'll be utilizing Team Doublemint, my original multi-boxing team. A paladin tank, two mages, a rogue, and an overgeared shaman healer. I spend most of my time playing from the shaman screen, controlling the others all through IS Boxer, but I'm set up in such a fashion that any character can be leader at any time. Utilizing my setup I can tank and heal effectively, and more than that I've managed to set it up to be very flexible and allow me to efficiently use single target DPS, area of effect DPS, interrupts, spell seal, and even crowd control. Some of the key technologies that allow this hybrid team to work include WoW's interact with target hotkey combined with the click to move and an FTL targeting system. As a rule, I dislike click to move because it causes grief for my normal playstyle. So I've created a macro paired with a multi-step key map which only enables this feature when I need it. Also, if you spam click to move, you will discover that your melee run around like pigeons with old ladies throwing crackers in the park. By utilizing a multi-step key map and IS Boxer's new timed advanced key maps, I've been able to enable click to move, interact with my target, cast my longer cooldowns followed by my DPS cast sequence and only two keystrokes. Each macro actually activates on the key down or key up action, so it's like I'm pressing all the keys, but it just gets it done in less physical strokes for me. The Focusless Targetless Leaderless System, or FTL, is a system which allows seamless transition between characters and a persistent and immediate assist each time you cast a hostile spell. Setting this up used to take hours of work, and any changes I found very time consuming as well. With IS Boxer, you can use this powerful targeting system in about 40 seconds thanks to the setup wizard. On the other hand, if you're like me and don't like wizards that much, you can also set it up very easily and have complete control over it. It's very nice to have this power set up in IS Boxer. As you can see, there's always a lot going on. Managing one class is a lot of work. Once you start trying to manage multiple classes, there's always something to do. You're either tanking, healing, or DPSing. Sometimes you're trying to make sure that you steal a spell, other times you're trying to make sure that the mobs are positioned right. On Prince Keliseth, I use a little bit of light area of effect spells to take care of the adds, and I find myself frequently changing targets. Keliseth is a mage, so he tends to jump around, and with the constant flow of adds, you can easily find yourself overwhelmed. Then you move on to Scarvald the Constructor. He's pretty straightforward, but it, it demonstrates how effective my system is for both melee and ranged for maintaining some mobility and switching targets quickly. I'm able to take Scarvald down very low in health and immediately switch to Dalrun, a feat most pickup groups can't manage. Then when Dalrun dies, I switch back to Scarvald and everything's finished off cleanly. Ingvar has given me the most trouble in Utgard Keep. He's got three types of AE damage, some of which are avoidable and some of which isn't. He's also got a spell interrupt which requires breaking your casting or being silenced for six seconds. This is an eternity when you're trying to kill him. With the large AE blast that occurs between phases, you also have to reposition everybody to where they're out of line of sight. I found much difficulty getting everybody in position and spreading out, but with the tools provided by IS Boxer, I'm able to do all this effectively. I can quickly switch to my tank's window, put him exactly where I want him, switch back to my healer, and wait for Ingvar to come out and engage my tank again. Once that's done, I hit a key, my rogue runs in, my mages start DPSing, and everything finishes out fairly well. I do tend to lose somebody here and there though because of such burst damage. So there's definitely a lot to get set up. It's a lot of little different things. And what I'll do in this following series of videos is break those down for you into single steps. You'll have a, div a video that will teach you how to set up your keyboard to multicast. A different video that will teach you how to broadcast your mouse so you can heal from any of your characters. I'll have another one that will show you how to set up the advanced DPS macros that I've got. And possibly even cover things like the click to move, turning it on and off through a script. 
Some of these are features of IS Boxer, some of them are features of WoW, and it all comes together to make a really powerful, flexible system that allows you to do what you want, when you want, without having to depend on other players.